Hey guys, welcome back to part two of my top down shooter series. All right, so so far we just have the tank in the background. Um, you can see that we can move our you know tank around, and it doesn't go you know over the border, which we've um, smartly programmed in here, which gives it um, limits, right? So in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering um, our player projectiles, so the player is going to be able to shoot these you know bullet things and. Um, we, if we have time, we also might cover, um, you know, cloning our enemy tanks. All right. So first I'm going to go to our tank sprite and I'm going to say when green flag clicked forever, if let's say, um, mouse down or key space pressed, then we're going to create a clone of the player projectile, right? So create a clone of player projectiles and we're going to let's say wait um 0 0.2 seconds so um that means that we can't you know shoot them like but they're gonna have like a 0 0.2 second interval between each shot um great so we have that next we're going to go to our player projectile sprite and we're going to create two local variables for it all right call it x for the sprite only and y for the sprite only all right um, you can see my um, projectile sprite is currently hidden, so you can't see it, right? Um, now we're going to say when I start as a clone. So when the tank create when the tank creates a clone to a projectile, it's going to you know have something's going to happen here, right? So um, we're going to set our x to get this. We're going to select player. Oh wait, tank and x of player all right it's not x position but x of player because this is the variable that we are using um here all right so x of player oh tank Ugh. and we're also going to set our y to y of player tank Ugh. um then we are going to say go to x x minus scroll x so it's like the exact same script we use here. And Y minus scroll Y. So let me duplicate that. And I'll change that to Y. Change this to scroll Y. Great. And we also want the clone to show, right? So I'm going to put a show block here. So if we try it now, I'm going to go full screen. And I move. You can see that each time I click or, you know, press the space bar. There's a, um, you know, bullet here, right? So click, boom, bullet. So that is already a good start because it means that it's, um, you know, um, cloning. <laughs> yeah, it's cloning. And we also want the bullet to point in the direction of the player, right? So we're going to say point in direction, go to sensing. We're going to find this block, I think. Yeah, I think it's this. We're going to find, we're going to say point in direction direction of tank all right direction of tank so let me put it here and if we try it now you can see our bullet um points in the direction of the player and it seems to be reversed so there is a fix to that well this is because my bullet is facing up right all right if yours is facing um the bottom it should work so all i need to do is just say turn let's say 180 degrees Yay, so now if I try it, boom, it's pointing in our direction, right? So pew, 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 yay. Um, next, we want the bullet to actually move, right? So um, this is going to be a pretty hard part, all right? We're going to create two new variables for the sprite only two. We're going to call them aim x, all right, for the sprite only, and aim y for the sprite only. So what aim x and aim y will do is that it's going to um, calculate the distance between our mouse x and it's the clone's x, all right? Um, so we're going to set our aim x. Oh, wait, this should be like here, I think. We're going to set aim x to mouse x minus um our x i think that's the script i use let me check um yes oh wait it's 
x, oh yeah, mouse x minus x position, all right? Because we're going to x, x minus scroll x and y minus scroll y, right? So it's going to be neither player. So we can just directly use our x position block, all right? So we're gonna set amx to mouse x minus x position. Let's say divided by um, five, maybe? Yeah, divided by five. It doesn't really matter where you put here, but it's going to affect the speed of your projectile, all right? And we're also going to set our aim y to mouse y minus y position. So if I go here, let me just take mouse y. Great. And finally, to see if this aiming variables are working, we're going to say forever, we are going to change our x by amx and we're going to change oh wait I shouldn't have duplicated that and we're going to change our y by aim y now if I try it now it should work so if I click pew pew we can now shoot bullets yay but you can see they kind of get stuck on the edge right which is not a thing we want we want it to kind of hide at the edge so how can we do that well go to your tank sprite um Oh, wait, it's not here. Oh, it's not here either. Oh, well, I suppose we'll just have to program it right now. We're going to say, or put, put an if-else um, loop here. Wait, condition here, or whatever you call it. Um, we're going to say if our x minus scroll x equals to x position and our y minus scroll y equals to y position then we're going to show and if not we are going to hide so we actually don't need to show block here well what is the point of this well it means that when you have a sprite you know like let's say here and you try to change it more but you can't because it's on this edge right you can't move it forward third third further um then um the x will still be changing, right? Because it's a variable. We can change our um, x. But we can't change our x position because it's kind of stuck there. Well, let me show you that in action. Let me just find our background. Let me drag it all the way, let's say, here. You can see at this spot, we can't move any further, but our variable will still be changing. So we're going to say if our variable is not equal to the actual x position, then it's going to you know, hide. That's how we're going to detect if it's, you know, touching the edge or whatever. Because the touching edge block isn't, um, you know, the best, all right? Um, so instead of doing this, we're going to change our x, which is our variable, by amx instead. And we are going to change our y by aim y. And finally, we're going to go to x, x minus scroll x, y minus scroll y, and we're gonna stick that in there. So if I try it now, um, pew pew pew, we can now shoot bullets, and they disappear at the edge. And one thing you may notice is that if my mouse is like closer to the um, tank, you can see our bullet actually sl shoots slower. But if I make it farther, it shoots faster. Well, that is just another great, um, you know, pro to using these variables, because they can um, detect this value if it's closer to the mouse or further away from the mouse all right so if i try moving around and shooting you see it works and um if i shoot slower you can see i can actually follow the bullet i can see it moving yay and if i go to the side it hides but we do not want the bullet to be moving forever right we want it to delete at a certain point well we're going to simply also say duplicate this when i start as a clone we are going to Wait, all right, pick random from, let's say, five to seven seconds. You can really change this for your own preferences. Then we're going to say, repeat 10, change our ghost effect by, let's say, 10. And after that, we're gonna delete the clone. So if I try it now, run our project, let me shoot a bullet. Oh, it went by too fast. Let me shoot slower to let you see it. So it's moving, right? No, we were too slow for it. <laughs> actually, actually, let me make it. Let me make the bullet travel slower. 
So in order to do that, we simply have to adjust this value to a larger value, let's say 8. So now our bullet should shoot slower. Yeah, it's real slow. All right. Oh, no, it's too fast. So I can't show you when it fades away. Let me try like this close. Yes, there's a bullet. Let me show you. After, let's say, five to seven seconds, it's going to slowly fade out, which is really good because we don't want it to just immediately hide. So now I can just spray our bullets. Yay. Pew, 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 pew. And you can see them slowly um, start to fade out. Um, let's say this one or something. Yay. Do you see that? That, that actually faded out. Okay, that actually looks nice. Yay. Um, so I suppose we could probably... Um, do more right now. I suppose we could talk about cloning our tanks, um, our, our enemy tanks. But I want to keep this tutorial short. It's already like um, almost 11 minutes now. Um, so I'm going to um, cut this part off. And in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about um, cloning our enemies um, and our enemy project and our enemy projectiles, which is going to be really nice because um, it's going to be very similar to our player projectile scripts. All right. So um, thanks for watching, um, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for part three.